Hey, this is Brett from WP Theme Speed, and I wanted to share with you a cool little thing that I found the other day on, of all places, GoDaddy.com. I wasn't expecting this. I haven't been a historical fan of GoDaddy for... They've been changing things and improving things over the last few months, and I do always look for new and better tools. So here's the thing. I have been looking a lot at managed WordPress hosting companies, such as WP Engine, Pressable, Lightning Base, uh, and, and several others. GoDaddy recently threw their name into that mix back in January or February. They started offering a managed WordPress hosting option. But here's the thing. When you switch your site from managed hosting, uh, or that is from shared hosting on a more generic cPanel type of account, even if you're on a VPS or something, and you move into managed WordPress hosting, Email does not come with the plan. This is just the website. It doesn't have any of the extra programs and, and things that cPanel can throw into an account. Now, GoDaddy does offer a separate cPanel account these days, another new thing they offer. But when you get their managed WordPress hosting plan, that's not, that's not in the cards. So I'll just kind of show you their uh, managed hosting option. And they've got a sale going on right now. Typically, it's $6.99 a month. Uh, they've dropped that down to a dollar a month for the starter plan, $10 a month for the business plan, which is normally $20, etc. They are definitely one of the cheaper managed WordPress hosting options out there, but email doesn't come with, with this option. They do, and this is tricky, this is not what I want to point out, uh, this is what I want to mention, but if you look at their email offerings, they offer a host of products under the Office 365 and Business Class email options. From my perspective, for clients or businesses, small businesses that have just a handful of employees, going with Office 365 or Google Business Apps are usually the two options that I recommend. Google Business Apps probably comes to mind more often than Office 365, unless the culture of the company is uh, heavily established already in something of an Outlook tradition. When you come over here and, and look at these, the uh, different Office 365 options come with monthly rates per user. You're paying uh, $4 a user for email essentials, $8 a user for uh, email essentials. So every person, now that's not email account. We're not talking the pseudo fake email accounts like info at or sales at or something. These are actual people managing an account that would be four, eight or $12 a month per user. And that can get pretty expensive when you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 uh, employees. GoDaddy has a different email plan that they do not show you with these different offerings here. It doesn't show up on the site unless you log into GoDaddy. And once you log into GoDaddy, and to do this, you have to have an account. So maybe you buy a domain, maybe you buy something else, maybe you purchase their WordPress managed hosting plan or something like that first. Once you go back, and I'm going to sign in real quick. So I've signed in. Once you come into GoDaddy, you can see some email options that aren't available to external uh, visitors, people that aren't logged in. And you have to go ahead and expand email and then click buy additional plans under email. And this then presents you with something that they call, this is their old offering for email, business class email. And with business class email, they offer uh, batches of email addresses for certain amounts of money. Now this isn't, this would again be actual people using those email plans, not the pseudo accounts, those would, could be forwarded. So if you have an info at, GoDaddy would have you forward that to a real plan or a real email address. Five email addresses go for $5 a month, about a dollar a user, a lot cheaper than, than uh, their Office 365 plans. Or if you have larger uh, options, and this gets a little confusing just in the way they present it, you can get up to 10 email addresses for $6.99 a month, so less than a dollar a user. And on top of that, you can add another batch of 10 for an additional $6.99. So that would be $14 a month or $13.98 for 20 email addresses. That's 10 here and 10 there. Or you can increase those batch sizes even more. So 10 plus 20, 10 plus 30, 10 plus 50, uh, some very cheap rates. And if you talk to GoDaddy, as you're purchasing these, uh, sometimes you can get uh, even bigger discounts if you purchase these plans in advance. They don't show them here, but one of the discount codes is discounts, literally. Uh, that's the plural version. That can get you currently, as I make this video, a 25% discount off of some of these plans. This is definitely a cheaper way to go to transition 
You may want an Office 365 plan. You may want a Google Business Apps plan. They have a lot of benefits in those. And it may be, there may be value in it to justify that cost. But if you just simply need email, this is a much cheaper way to go about it. And there aren't a whole lot of places that offer this surprisingly. There you have it. Cheap email at less than a dollar a user through GoDaddy, who also offers managed WordPress hosting account option as well. Hope that helps save you money and makes it possible for you to consider migrating. From my perspective, I think a lot of people, once you've established your website, once you've established your business, you're going to see the need and the benefits from speeding up your website and going with a managed WordPress host.